Hello everyone, welcome to, or welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another episode of Tory Gate. I have to laugh because that's what Saya named this whole drama. And I've got to say, it just fits it perfectly. But I do have some good news because I am proud and happy to report that my Fleming barrel bag in Bay Gray is fine. There's not a peel, there's not a mark on this. And I honestly should have compared this with the other bag while I still have it here, because there's a couple of differences that I kind of wanted to point out that when I got this bag, should have kind of triggered something in me to take a second look at the cream bag. First of all, this leather is softer and a little bit more pliable, which I know sounds strange, and it's not just due to the shape of the bag. The leather itself just feels a little bit more supple. And when you look between the diamonds, if you saw my original video, you can go back and pause it. And I pointed out that there was some crinkling in between where the quilting was. And it was like a really strange wrinkle, almost like it was kind of pulled and puckered. And that's not happening anywhere on this bag. And yes, I have used it. I love it. I think it's absolutely beautiful. I'm not even sure if they're still making this bag. I, it may have gone on sale, but I'm not 100% sure. And the only reason why I'm saying that is because I kind of don't care I'm not planning on buying any more Tory Burch, but for all of you who may have some pieces, and if you're wondering, is this gonna to happen to you? I just wanted to share what my experience was with a product very similar to one that I had an ordeal with. So anyway, this is just really, I mean, I have to say, it's a beautiful, beautiful bag. I have not used the crossbody strap. I've used this just with the attached chain. So that's why I don't have it here with me. It's got a really nice, generous drop and it's very comfortable. And I've worn it, I've had this hit pieces of my clothing. And as you can see, there's absolutely nothing rubbed off or damaged, peeled, nothing. It looks really, really great. So I'm very happy about that. And I was so excited for this one too. And in fact, if I had to just bought this bag, I probably wouldn't have even bought the soft Fleming, but you know, hindsight is the best sight, so they say. So really quick, I'm gonna show you what fits in this bag. And then I just wanted to show a couple of things that I bought while I was shopping with Cami, just a couple of spring tops and some shorts, but I'll get into that in a minute. So this has a nice zipper on the top, Inside, you have a zipper compartment on one wall. It's got a really nice, sort of like a suede microfiber lining. It feels super, super soft. And this is a really nice roomy bag. And in fact, depending, I may even use it this Sunday because I'm going with one of my friends for Mother's Day brunch. We both lost our moms, so we usually spend Mother's Day together and go to a nice brunch or dinner or somewhere and, you know, at least not feel so alone. So this is the bag that I use today for work. This is my vintage Longchamp, and this is the one that resembles the Hermes Bully. This is a vintage bag. It's probably from... I'm gonna guess in the 90s. I have been able to find very little information about this style because it's close to the saint Honore, which is another style that they had that was similar, but that style looks even more like the Bully because it has the seam across the front, and this doesn't. Um, I really wasn't crazy about the crossbody strap that came with it, so I took it off, but anyway, and yes, I do have a little, little sus pony right there. Anyway, I will show you what's in this bag. So I have a bunch of things that I took to work today. So I have a pack of tissues. 
And I'm gonna slip that in. I mean, the one disadvantage to this, to this bag is you really have to have it completely off if you wanna open it wide to see what's inside. But you can reach your hand down in there with no problem. So I have some Touchland hand sanitizer. I will pop that in. And there's no organization here. There's really like no prayer of organization. So you could just get it and pop it in. My wallet, and that's the Coach Zippy wallet. A snack bar, which I never got to eat this morning because I was a little bit busy. My case from Naomi Crafted. This is the Hermes dust bag. Kind of like a little catch-all wallet sort of thing. So that's in there. You can see how that all fits right now. And then I have a nose spray. Cause guys, I gotta breathe. So put that there. And then that leaves me plenty of room to put my keys and my phone. And because the bag's lightweight, this isn't heavy and everything zips up with no problem. There's no bulges, no marks, no nothing. So winner, winner, chicken dinner. This was at least a winner for me. So very happy for that. And by the way, guys, if you do want something that resembles a bolide, I highly recommend this. This is the full in a leather. It's just so supple, so soft, lightweight, these are fabulous bags and well worth it. I got this for under $100 and couldn't be more pleased. So now on for the fashion portion of our video. I went to Anthropology with Cami, and if you saw Cami's shopping haul, you'll know she got a denim dress. I tried on a dress that looked adorable on the hanger. And when I put it on, it looked like Omar the tent maker fashioned this garment. When you have a large chest, guys, you have to be very, very conscious. If you're wearing something that's full, it really kind of has to be fitted on the top. And then you can have a little bit more volume under the breasts. But do not ever get anything where the seam starts at the top and just kind of billows out because it really it, it's like a circus tent. Don't go there always look for something a little bit straight or an ampere waist or something that's A-lined. All those styles work fabulous. Speaking of work, Henry's hard at work now. I have no idea what he's doing, but whatever it is, he's awful busy. Anyway, I bought, well, let me start with these first. I bought this t-shirt, which I absolutely adore, and I'm not going to try it on, but this style is, let me see, you know, I don't remember what the style name of this is. It's an anthropology brand, and it's just cotton, made in India, this has sort of like a normal t-shirt fabric here and then this is a little bit more of I guess sort of kind of uh, like like a woven like a sheet so this is really really cute it's a little bit boxy but not huge boxy I'm gonna stand up I'll show you kind of against me I bought an extra large because I wanted it to be more loose and you could see it's plenty loose but it doesn't look like it doesn't look voluminous so that's something that you want to avoid and I'll be wearing this in a video soon you can see what it looks like on it has a lot of detail in the sleeves you can see that there's a lot of nice seaming so that this is going to lay really nice and give you a cute little puffy sleeve effect and this was $58. So for $58, it's a really nice, really well-made t-shirt. Of course, it's a little wrinkly because it's been in my closet, but 
I really do like this a lot. I'm always pleased with what I find at Anthropology, And for a while they were making nothing but crop tops. So finally they have some normal goods. This is from Pilcro. This is also an Anthropology brand. This is sort of like a slub knit tee. You could see it's a really pretty celery color. Very, very similar to my pistachio coach bag. And this is an oversized t-shirt and it has the raw hem here, the raw hem seam in the back. So it does give you a little bit more of a fitting because the seam in the back is going to give it a little bit more shape and structure, but this is nice and loose and comfortable and it is vented at the bottom. So you can wear it out and it looks really finished. And of course it has the bottom hem. So this is a really very nice t-shirt. I tried it on. It's comfortable. It's oversized, but not huge. And I bought this in a large. And then last but not least, I was at Target. And I went back to Target over the weekend to try to get another pair, but I was at a different Target. Couldn't find any. These are shorts. They kind of feel like a linen, but I don't think that they're linen. They're just like a really nice medium Vietnam. I'm sure that this is just, let's see. Let's see if we see what these are made of. Oh, it is linen and rayon. So I was right, there is linen in this. And these were only $15, guys. These are really, really cute, comfortable shorts. They're not a tight short. It's a little bit of a loose fit, but still tailored, if that makes any sense. And I really love this kind of paper bag waist because it's just a little bit of that paper bag waist effect. So if you do wanna wear a shirt that's tucked in, you have that little bit of detail, but it's not gonna be overwhelming. These are a large, they fit me fine. Um, they're a little bit loose in a couple of places, but not uncomfortably loose where they're gonna fall off. I really like the way these look and fit. So I'm on a mission now to get another pair in another color, but just look at how close the color is to the blue t-shirt that I bought. I mean, how good is that? Who would think? I mean, you know, sometimes when things are close, but not too close, you kind of have to watch, watch because it looks weird. I mean, I don't always like to wear same color tops and bottoms, but in this case, it's, it's a blue and I love it. So I definitely am going to wear those pieces together. So thanks so much for watching guys. I really appreciate it. Head on over to my friend Cammie's channel and give her a subscribe if you haven't already. She's trying to get to 2,000 subscribers and she only needs like seven as of right now. So please go over, show her some love. I will see you guys on Saturday. I have a collab with the one and only Autumn Beckman and we are gonna be sharing some things about Coach. So come join me back for then and next week, who knows? I think I'm on Winnie's Live on Tuesday. So you know that there's going to be some kind of fun shenanigans for that trip. So I will see you all soon. Love you all. Bye.